Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle guidance. So let's hear what the angels of the spirits or your guides have for you today. We have three choices of oracle cards here. Deck 1, Deck 2 and Deck 3. Please go ahead, make your selection and go directly to your reading. Thank you. Hello and welcome. For those of you who have chosen the first deck here, Angels of Atlantis, we are asking what is our guidance for this week? What is it that we actually need to know for this week to be able to go on? What is it that we simply need to be aware of? And we have Zadkiel, security. What I'm feeling with regard to this um, card here is that what we need to know at this moment is that we are supported and that we can actually reach out for help and that if we reach out for help, we will actually be helped. We will actually receive the help that we're asking for. So if you're feeling that um, that it's wonderful, but it's still a little bit of a whirlwind, or if you're feeling like you're not sure at any moment, then the advice that they're giving you here is actually to just reach out. Because if you reach out and ask for help, that you will actually receive the help. Because what you don't realize, what you don't understand at this moment, is that you have a lot of good energy around you. You know, regardless of your faith, regardless of what your beliefs are, your religious or spiritual beliefs, you have a lot of support here, a lot of divine support. There's a lot going for you. There is the sense of actually being one with the world and one with all around you. And what we actually need to recognize is that that's all we need to do. We need to recognize that. We need to recognize that we have what, that we are part of a whole, that we are supported by this divine energy that's around us right now, that we are part of something that is a perfect whole. And that you may think that, oh, how can you say that? Well, there's so many, there's so much of killing and there's so many wars in the world. But the advice that they're giving you here is to say, well, still, you're part of a whole. You create everything that you desire and you create all your fears as well. So be aware of that and also recognize that you have help when you need it and you just need to reach out for it. So the other thing that they're saying here is that we are perfect. We are in, in at one with the whole. We are at one with all of existence. There's so much to be grateful for. And we are filled with such with so many things. We just need to open our hearts and to be generous and to be kind towards others. There is no scarcity. There is only joy. And this is something that the angels here are willing to support you through. They're willing to step in and be that which you desire. They are there for you when you are fearful. They're there when you need um, help, when you need security. And you simply need to ask, as I've said. And you also just need to release any tension that you have around you right now. Any tension that's been building up, you just need to release it. And you may release it with a simple chant or you may release it simply by breathing through breath work. Or you may release it by simply putting your, your hands in some, in some salt water or uh, by putting your hands in some earth, some soil. And um, this will help release some of the pent-up energy that you have around you right now. In all truth, everything is going according to plan. And everything is in perfection at this moment, even if you do not feel this way, even if you're not certain of it, it is in perfection. And that's the angel's message for you for today. So that's it for those of you who've chosen uh, the first deck here. For those of you who've chosen uh, this one here, the question we're asking again today is, what is it that we need to know for the week ahead? What is it? What is our guidance what is it that we need to know right now? What is it? This card here just flew out and I'm I'm actually um, going to take it because I feel that it is what we need to hear right now. And so it's the number 40 and it's the power of support. And it reads, I'm grateful for all the love and support I receive. It's the most precious of life's gifts. And it feels very much like um, the card that I have that I've pulled before, which is really about understanding that we are in grace, understanding that we are in abundance and that all is in perfection. And this is um, 
kind of reiterating that. It's basically saying, well, the power of support and the support I was talking about is the support that we have from our guides and from our angels and from whichever divine entity you believe in. Um, it is this wholeness that exists around us. And so this card talks about being grateful for the love and support I receive. It's the most precious of life's gifts. And this card for me, it asks you to take a moment amidst the madness, amidst everything that's crazy and hectic, to be able to truly appreciate that, to be able to truly understand that love and support that you receive, that being simply recognized. It's asking you to look at the love that you have in your life and recognize it and, and appreciate it for what it is. Give. Here it's asking you to be grateful for all those who've been a part of your life, for all the experiences that you've had. You may be filled with hurt that you have not yet released, you have not yet worked through. You may be upset because somebody said something that rubbed you the wrong way. Or you may be upset because you just don't feel that you've had all that you've needed in your life. You haven't had the support that you have in your life. And you may be wondering, well, what, what, how can I be grateful for love and support that I have not had? How can I be grateful when the one I love is not there for me? How can I be grateful when my parents have ignored me or whatever you're concerned about, you know, whatever you, that, whatever is worrying you at this moment, you may be feeling that it's, how can you be grateful for this? And I'm here to say to you that everything and every experience that you've had, everyone that you've been in contact with has made you who you are right now. And it's been a part of the love that has been growing within you. It's been part of the flowering of your spirit and it's the most precious of gifts. So it is actually to be able to understand that one's belief in you, their care, their love, their help, their, their energy, their positive thoughts and energy, wisdom and encouragement from wherever you, you're receiving this has brought miracles in your life. Whether it's simply by listening to this reading, which is infused with healing energy, or by simply having somebody smile at you on the street, this love that's brought into your life is significant and it is actually worthy. And it is a part of you that helps you grow and helps you flourish. And it helps you transform your life and it helps you to blossom. And so take a moment to recognize that. Take a moment to see the alchemy that exists between you and the rest and how it's creating something beautiful in you, something that you may feel is not a part of you and something that you feel that you may need to strive for, but it's creating beauty in your life. It's creating a divine oneness in your life. It's creating luck and synchronicity in your life. And it's all that you need right now. And all that you have to do is recognize it, be aware of it, and simply be grateful for all that's coming into your life right now. Be grateful also for those who you believe are not actually serving you in your life. Be grateful for those who've come into your life to teach you, to bring you those hard lessons. As much as it makes you feel bad and as, as much as it makes you feel uncomfortable, they are there to tell you and to teach you what it is that you need to learn about yourself. Where is it that you still need to work on yourself? Where is it that you still need to infuse yourself with love? Where is it that you still need to understand abundance and not scarcity? And so that is my message for you for today, for those of you who have chosen this particular card and um, this deck. Moving on to the last one. And for those of you who have chosen the third option here, the advice that we have for you today, the guidance that you seek for this week, ah, oh, it's a wonderful card. It says wishing well, number 48. This card's actually telling you that you may make a wish. You may recognize that gifts surround you. You may recognize that you have the, the chemistry you have the alchemy, you have all that it takes, the magnetism to be able to attract to you what you desire. So it's asking you to simply wish, what is it that you desire? What is it that you're wishing for? Are you wishing to be with someone? Are you wishing to have a Merry Christmas? Are you wishing to for a wonderful year ahead? Are you wishing for anything at all? What is it that you wish for? Put it out there. 
Wish for it with a pure heart. Wish for it with an open heart. Wish for it knowing that it can be. And then let go of it. Because it's your attachment to it that will not allow it to come into being. It is the obsession that you may have with it that will not allow it to come into being. If you simply wish for something, then wish for it and have faith that it will come to be because of your chemistry, because of your power of manifestation, because of your ability to be able to attract to you what it is that you desire and what it is that you deserve. Make your wish and let go at this point because you have all that it takes and you have the support around you that's willing to be able to help you manifest what it is that you desire. Recognize also that you cannot control how fast it happens or how slow it takes to, to come into being. Recognize that once you make your wish, you are leaving it to the outside forces and you put all your effort into it. But at the same time, you cannot expect it to come whenever you want it to come. It's not going to work on your timeline. And as long as you accept that and as long as you understand that, it'll actually help you go a long way to bring that manifestation into being. Because often what happens is that we may want something to happen, but we want it to happen now. And when we want it to happen now, what we in fact doing is that we're pushing it away from ourselves because we are putting a lot of negative energy on that. We are saying, okay, I want this and I know I have the ability to create it, but I don't believe that it's going to happen in the time that is right for it to happen. I don't believe and I don't trust and I don't have faith that it's going to happen at the right moment in my life because I want it to happen now and I want this all at once. And so what, what they're saying here is whatever you're wishing for, let go of it. When you wish for it, it will be yours because the time now is ripe for this. The wishing well only shows up when you are, when you actually can make a wish and it will come true. But perhaps the timeline is not going to be in your favor. And I'm not saying it won't be. I'm just saying that maybe it won't be. And what I'm encouraging you to do is not to be worried when that happens, not to be afraid when that happens, not to lose faith at that moment. Take a deep breath and let go. Make your wish and take a deep breath and let go. And let it be. Let it take place for you. Let it happen for you. Let it do, let it do its own work. You've done your work by asking. And then if you, there is other things that you need to do, you know, if you need to make an application, if you need to go out and order it, or you need to actually make a phone call to somebody that you care about, then do that. Do what you can do in it. Then let go and let the forces that are unseen work for you. And that is your advice for those of you who have chosen this card here today. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas um, in the week ahead and happy holidays to those of you who are not celebrating Christmas. And um, yeah, happy holidays and a wonderful week ahead. And I hope you've had a fantastic solstice uh, period with the lovely Cancerian moon that was just uh, that we've just had. And uh, I'm wishing you all the best and I will get I will be back with a weekly Oracle card reading next week on Sunday, just before the new year. Okay, wishing you all much love and much abundance and blessings abound from Kirsten's Rising.